Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 IoT Core Insider Preview on your Raspberry Pi. What you'll need is a PC running Windows 10 Insider Preview, a Raspberry Pi 2, um, an 8 gig uh, SD card, uh, and that's it for now. The rest we'll use later. Um, you'll need to have a Microsoft Connect account. I already have one. Just follow the links. It will let you set up the, uh, the account for that. Use your Microsoft account. Then download the Insider Core uh, Preview on your, uh, on your Windows 10 machine. I have done this. Here's my uh, downloaded package and I have extracted it here. I've opened up a command prompt using administrative rights So let's switch to the screen capture So I have established that no screen capture software works on Windows 10 at this point in time Therefore I'll have to hold the camera uh, the After making the uh, the local copy of the uh, basically extracting the IOT file uh, find out which um, which uh, disk partition or well which disk your SD card is in or inserted into In my case, you can see I have the an eight gigabyte SD card in there. Um, but I'm going to actually I'm going to have to format it, as um, there is a there are Linux partitions on it for. I'll select this one. I'll clean. Oops. I'll clean in English. <laughs> I'll create the primary partition. Actually, let's create part primary. Oh god, I can't write properly. Pro. It has done that. Now, format fs equals ntfs quick. Gonna format it really quickly. I'll be back when. Oh, actually, it has for finished formatting. So, exit this. So we have established that it's disk one. So it's physical drive one. Now we would like to type in dis. Okay, no, no, no. DISM dot exe, which is in there, slash ap apply image slash image file it makes it easier if you put uh, your image file location into your clipboard
the space after that. Physical drive one. So once you've written all that in, press enter. As you can see, it found the image at the location, it found the drive, and it's now writing to the drive. This might take a while, so I'll be back. So, once this finished, after that made that sound, uh, you check the SD card, and now you're ready to put it into your Raspberry Pi. So, power up your board by plugging in the micro USB cable. This is as far as the Windows console will go. From this point on, you can access it via the IP address above. Thank you for watching. This is how you can get Windows 10 IoT running on your Minnow board. Um, please make sure to comment, rate and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you want to see more, make a comment below. Um, I'm sure I will read them and I'll respond to them and make a video if needed. Thank you very much. Goodbye.